Okay, I sent large paper home, um, and you guys in school will have paper on your tables, um, so you don't necessarily have to bring your paper in, but I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to do, you know, if you fold this back and forth, you're gonna be able to tear it pretty easily. And then one side is going to be for my template, and the other side is going to be for my drawings. So right now I'm going to do my 10 different drawings, and then we'll talk about the five variations. Okay, I have my 10 here, um, and you know, you're, after drawing, you know, it lets your mind think about form a little bit. So, you know, these really only should be about six inches tall to eight inches tall, six to eight. And if I'm gonna make mine taller and narrower, it maybe could be a little taller, um, but if I'm going to make mine wider, it really probably should only be about six inches tall. So we're also thinking about form. So the one I like the best, I really like these rounded forms. So I think I'm going to do that instead of a taller form or a form that has the neck and the body, um, like I talked about in the slide presentation. And I like these um, rainbow, sunrise um, sort of images. Um, and I'm th gonna think about the waves, um, but now I need to do t five variations. So I have my 10 different And then I'm over here, I'm going to do my five variations of one idea. Now your variations um, can't be all different. So I'm going to stick with the rainbow kind of theme and the rounder, but I'm going to change it a little bit. So here goes. Okay, so what I did for my five variations is I had similar round sort of bulbous shapes. Some I added a neck to, some I added feet to, um, and some I made taller and a little shorter. And then I took my favorite design and I put it on there in different ways. One from the top coming down, one I added the waves to the side, one I made smaller, the smaller arches, this has the bigger arches with dots, and this has the narrower arches. Okay, so now what do I like the best? Um, I like it coming up from the bottom, 
but I think it's a combination of these two. So I think I like this one and this one. So I'm going to make um, a combination of both of those. So next up is creating your template and gridding out your design um, in more detail. Art. Okay, I have my um, drawings, I have my 10 different ideas, and then I have my five variations. Um, and so I also have my template. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it, but your templates really should be only about six inches, six, seven inches tall or six, seven inches wide. Otherwise, your pots are just gonna get to be a little big. Mine's a little wider, seven and a half, and that's okay. But if they do get to be too big, um, you're gonna run out of clay, which is fine, I'll always give you more. But it means a trip up to school. Um, so that video I just showed you was about folding the template in half and cutting out your form. Now this is the one you're gonna make. So the idea is that you're cutting out the form to use as a pattern. So now what I want you to do, and um, you know, you're not stuck in this, but it gives you a goal. It gives you something to envision. It helps you understand how the clay is operating in space. I don't grade you against whether your pot looks like this or not. Um, this is really just a guide to help us. So now what I'm gonna do is I've decided on my form and this is the one I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna go through and start sketching out you know, what's my favorite design on here? Um, and I think I might do something with the waves um, and something that kind of comes up and goes around. Maybe a combination of this and this. Um, so now I'm gonna spend some time sketching out um, what it is that I wanna put onto my pot, whether it's adding or carving or whatever it is, so I'm gonna do that now. I have my 10 different ideas and my five variations and I have my template with my design on it. Now you certainly don't have to color it in. I just wanted to um, because I had the markers and I have the time and coloring is awesome. It's good for your brain. 
Makes you feel like you have a break in the day. Um, do I like those lines? Well, you know, I really like these waves, how they come in and come around, and I like that they contrast each other. You know, that they get vertical, go up and down, and then that activates the waves kind of coming in. Um, but I'm not sure if I want them on my pot or not. And sometimes you don't know until you do it. Um, you know, they're a little slanty um, because of the way I drew them, but you still have decisions to make. You still have to figure out, you know, what happens on the other side of the pot as it comes around. And so you, you know, this is a fluid process, a process where you're gonna be making decisions um, along the way that changes the outcome. So I'm gonna take a picture of this uh, and turn it in for my grade, for my coil pot sketches. And then the next step will be beginning this pot in um, clay. All right, good luck, have fun. Mm -hmm.